Okay, so we've added in the drum beat um, and now we're going to add in our pedal notes. So we're going to right click, we're going to add instrument track and we are going to select, you can choose, um, you can go Halley and Sonic SE, not a problem. Um, I'm going to choose Prologue, you could also choose Retrolog as well. So we're going to go Prologue and we're going to click Add Track. Right, I want something that's going to sound suitably kind of droney. Um, so when we talk about drones and music, it's going to feel quite open. It's a long sustained note. It's kind of got to be like a background sound to everything else that's going to be happening for us shortly. So I'm going to click on Synth Lead. I'm going to click on Digital. And I am going to find something that sounds pretty good played just at the bottom. So let's just try this lead one. <laughs> And depending on how hard I hit on the keyboard, um, it creates a different type of sound as well. I quite like that one. Uh, let's just quickly double check something else. That's quite nice because it's quite raspy, so I think I might go for that one. I can always change it at a later time as well. So double click and then it will show up here. If you don't get the sound, name of the sound up here, then that means you haven't gone in and um, actually selected it. So just go back in and then you can um, uh, select it again and then up here. Click exit. I'm just going to call this pedal note. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in four bars of pedal note. This is where it's going to go. And I'm going to find, I'm going to use the G minor scale. So my tonic is going to be G. So let's find a G. That's too high. Let's go down. That's probably just about where I want it. Okay, so we're going to go and just draw in a G that lasts the entirety of that field. So I've just zoomed out so I can see the whole field. And I now have my pedal note. You can repeat that and it all works.